And good afternoon, race fans. Welcome here <clears throat> to our first race of the season for the TMS Ray Diva Series. As Wanda McBride's on the pole, Jim Bailey alongside Lisa Evans, Ingrid Pollard, row two. There's the lineup, and the rest I will post the lineup on Discord. See where your favorite driver will start. <coughs> I'll also try to <coughs> post it in the description as well. This is the 2003 NASCAR Bush Series mod I'm going to be using for this season. And I do not have a... Um, All right, there we go. In set for the XI Batteries 500. 30 laps these drivers are going to run here today. Fuel will not be an issue. And we're, on, we're running the GNS Physics. All right, here we go. <clears throat> the first Diva Series race is underway. Thirty-three races these drivers will have this season. We'll start the first one here today at the Eight Ball Super Speedway. These drivers will be turning left and right on the Super Speedway like this. Jim McBride lines as one of McBride's about to lose the lead to Lisa Evans <coughs> in the seventy-one. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Sorry, I've been trying to uh, clear this crap out of my throat, or out of my system. Of course, I'm doing this in my room, so because it is 1.30 in the morning, I'm recording this. Lisa Evans leads the first lap of the new Diva season. This is, by the way, season one of the TMS Array Diva series. So this is going to be no rookies. And we have 40 ladies racing here. As the 59, that's June Bailey in the second position. With Wanda McBride, our pole sitter, trying to take the lead back. And looks like she will be successful in doing so. During my off days, or days that I don't go to work until like later today, I will record a race and upload this. I'm not going to do qualifying because it will take up too much of my time. I just want to get this series uh, recorded, uploaded, recorded, uploaded. You get the picture. All 40 did take the green, so that's good news there. Wanda McBride is leading this race. That is uh, one of the Lee sisters. I will try to do my best to memorize the names. That's Trinity Lee. But she's going to lose the lead to June Bailey. There's, by the way, the entry list for this season. Of course, I'll upload these <clears throat> every Saturday. Of course, I gotta figure out what location Eight Bowl is, so that way I know. <coughs> Excuse me. Blah. Sorry, I've been dealing with a sickiness as I'm recording this. Hang on, let me check something. Figure out where this track is from. Eight Bowl. Uh, track I and I. So 
like you know where this is. This is in Massachusetts. Okay. So we're in Massachusetts. Okay. Jim is currently the leader. We'll be using the 2003 Bush points. There are no playoffs because this series is driver who uh, gets the most points wins the championship. Simple as that. Here comes the seven. That's one to McBride. And right behind her is the 25. That's April Winters. April Winters, you know her from the Trucks and Buffalo Wild Wings series. Let's really check to see. That's Skylar Davidson in the 18 out of Joe Gibbs Racing. Kaylee Rankin in the zero. There's Lisa Evans. Lauren Grubius in the 88. <clears throat> Checking back here, Harley Percy is about to lose the draft, along with Sydney Ball and Nina Cambridge. The 26 is trying to keep up with the draft. Tatiana Naguera dropping back in the 12. Anna Percy's back here. Brenda Evely and Samantha Granger. Dakota Lee, driver I've never heard of before. That's Lucy Granger. Andy James, Holly Parker. Amy Pruitt. Cecilia McDonald, driver I've never heard of. Emily Green, heard of her before. That's Costello. There's Alex Winters. Luna Farmer, another driver I've never heard of before. Jennifer Power. Courtney Lynn. Jillian Black, another driver I've never heard of. There's Carolina Bradley. There's the one car. As I just went too fast, that's Liliana Bata. She's an AutoZone Amateur Series car. And there's Natalie Fisher in the 80. Beatrice Campos. And her team in the 21 of uh, Clara Olivero. And it's still one to McBride. <coughs> Currently on lap number nine <coughs> of 30. This race is going to be fun. We've ran eight bull before. A lot of times when we run the cup mod, they get the 13 gallon fuel cells. These cars go 22 gallons. And this is where the <coughs> division races come into play when Monster comes here. Clean lap number nine, working ten, lap ten. That's June Bailey, currently the leader. That's Rubius in second, that 88. Wanda McBride. Is that 26? Yeah, 26 has lost the draft. That's Sydney Ball teammate to Lauren Rubius. Haley Percy needs a caution, but maybe not good. 
at the start of the season for Haley Percy that she would have liked. And uh, Wanda McBride going back to the lead. Bringing the 71, that's Lisa Evans for second. But she's going to be on the long side of the track along with possibly the 7. Except the 7 tried to throw the block on the 59 but didn't realize that that could result in a crash. Don't want to be making aggressive moves. <laughs> As the right side is the place to be on the right handers, and the left side is where you want to be in the left handers. Now the 59 going to take the lead, and now the 7 is going to be put in the, <coughs> in the sucker hole. And June Bailey is going to go the race lead. Here comes the 71. That was that's Lisa Evans. And that unsponsored number 71. Of course, I used to do the Diva series on the on the original Cup mod. Now I'm doing this on the Bush mod. That 26 is not gonna have a good finish as a result. But of course, we're only one race into a 33 race championship. Next week. We're going to the Arizona Speedway out west. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're heading to Arizona Speedway next up on the calendar. <coughs> Sorry, I got stuff in my throat still. So we're heading to Arizona Speedway next. An 8, it's going to be either an 8 or a 9 p.m. Eastern Time green flag. That will be under the lights. That will be a lot of fun. Of course, Diva races will be now on Tuesdays. I was going to put it up on Saturdays, but I said, nah, let's put it up on Tuesdays. So we're going to have a diva race <coughs> here today. Of course, we're watching this in the afternoon. <coughs> Are they four wide? I thought they were four wide for a second. Four wide's never a good idea. But they sell it back down to three. Haley Percy is the only gal that's lost a draft, so... She's not going to have herself a good finish today. On board the Brenda Evening Machine. See how chaotic it was. Ooh, that was close. Now they're about to be four wide. Four wide is never a good idea. As we're halfway, as we're, we'll be halfway home. 15 down, 15 to go. If they keep it together, now we're back down to three wide. That's what scares me, to see them going three wide. As June Bailey is the leader, because we're halfway home. Remember the Oreo Cup Series uh, I did last year took me three months to complete. Kleenex or something. <clears throat> I should have bought some Kleenexes, but that's alright. <clears throat> so 
tomorrow as I'm recording this, I will buy some Kleenexes. Oh no, the two is blown up. That's Luna Farmer. And she's missed the pit lane, so that's not going to do her any good. And Luna Farmer will be the first driver officially out of this race. That's a shame for Luna. <clears throat> Which means the 26 will not finish dead last today. As the two is trying to limp it back to the pits. As long as the two doesn't oil down the track, we're good. <clears throat> now the 26 has gone by. Now the two is about to cross the line. Any second now. Here we go. So Luna Farmer. <clears throat> the first casualty out of Richard Childress Racing. That's a Chevy car. And she has made it to pit road. So we're going to stand her to green. Hopefully there wasn't any oil that was dropped on that two car. And she'll be our first retiree out of the race. That's a tough break for her. And how we didn't, how that was not the big one, I will never know. As the 20 is going to take second, that's uh, Beatrice Campos. And it was the engine that grenaded on the two. Beatrice Campos, one of two Brazilian drivers in the field. Clara Oliveras is the other. That's Trinity Lee in the Sprint PCS 04. Having herself a good run. Want to point out this will be uploaded on both. The TMS rate and the PCS rate. So that way you guys can watch all the races. Of course, TMS array races will be here on the TMS array radio network. Uh, for those that want to watch the races on my channel. Uh, of course, both premieres will be going out. I'm just going <coughs> I'm just gonna let you know. I'm only gonna share the one link on my blue headshot channel. We got 10 to go here. This telecast is presented by the authority of the TMS array, and it may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the account description of this broadcast may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Motorsports Racing Association. <coughs> TMS array, want to thank you fans for your support. Hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. <coughs> yeah. So anyway, As the 71 is going to go for the race lead. Eight to go as Lisa Evans leads this race.
TMS Ray After Dark is next on the Blue Hedgehog, or on the on the TMS Ray Sports Channel. And I also have to come up with a new catchphrase. Of course, I will. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. As, uh, come down to seven to go. So for TMS Array, all the races on that channel will be on Tuesdays. For the replay version, it will be on Thursdays. As long as it's not interfering with the truck series... Uh, stuff. We're going to have six to go as the 59 leads. That's June Bailey. This is everybody's uh, first year in the Diva Series, so no need for uh, Rookie of the Year to be a thing. Down to five laps to go. Next time by the cross the line. And of course the outro is going to be uh, a lot different. Because I have to say both uh, TMS Ray and PCS Ray. Until I get a logo for this series, I will just just have the races up. <clears throat> yep. As we're coming down the five laps of racing to go, Jim Bailey still leads. Nina Cambridge and Amy Pruitt have lost the draft. Oh, we got a blown up. Oh, we got a crash. As uh, the 49's below the apron, that's the 18 who's blown up. And that's causing a stack up and a half. As now the 18 is just basically holding up. That's Skylar Davidson. That's a tough break for the young lad. That just screwed the pack up big time. Hopefully that 18 got on the apron. It looks like the 18 did. That was kind of messy. <coughs> yep. Next time by will be three laps to go. So as I said, uh, all the races will be on... The TMS Array, the replay version of that race, will be on the PCS Array Sports and Gaming channel. That will be for all the races this season, as they're about to lap uh, Haley Percy, who lost the draft earlier. As now they have already overtaken the uh, 18 machine. And Percy's now up to... Uh, um, 38th, <clears throat> still not going to be the good run she was hoping for, so we got three to go, and we got some new suspects in there, Chrissy House and Ingrid Pollard up here, of the 26 is going to get in the way, As Ingrid Pollard leads as we're coming up two laps to go. If you're not subscribed to the TMS Array uh, Sports Channel, uh, the link, if you're watching this on the PCS Array Sports and Gaming Channel, is in the description. <clears throat>
Tim Green. Ingrid Pollard currently the leaders. We're coming to the white flag. The Audubon Ford out of Roush Racing. There's the white flag. Next flag will end this race. Here comes the Toys R Us Chevy. That's Kelly Boston. Part of the Daniel Voiles racing team. How would it be for her to get her first win in the Diva Series? We're definitely going to run this race caution free, which is fine by me. And it looks like it's about to be a big victory. Kelly Boston of turn number four will win the first race of the Diva Series. A huge win for that 54 Toys R Us Chevy SS. And she will go to victory lane here today in the Diva Series. I'm going to wait for the standings to be official before I export the results. Kelly Boston, the winner, Trinity Lee. So close, we'll come over with second. Ingrid Pollard, third. Lisa Evans, fourth. Wanda McBride, fifth. Beatrice Campos, sixth. Lauren Gruby, is seventh. June Bailey, eighth. Kayla Rankin, ninth. And Chrissy House, who was acquired by DVR, came home in the top ten. Then it was Jesse Art, Brenda Evelyn, Harley Percy, Natasha Fisher and Emily Green completing your top 15. As you look on down through the remainder of the finishing results, 37 of our 38 drivers finished on the lead lap. Courtney Lynn was the last of those drivers. Haley Percy was, off, was the only driver off the lead lap. And then Skylar Davidson, Luna Farmer, went out of the race due to engine failures here in this race. But that's going to do it from Hill, from Eat Bowl. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the TMSRA crew today and the PCSRA crew today. Since this race and the entire season will be up on both of my TMSRA and PCSRA channels. We've shown your full finish results. You will see your point standings in our pre-race show next week from the Arizona Super Speedway. Until then, I've been Dean Evil signing off. Thanks for watching a broadcast of the TMSRE, the best motorsports racing since 2023. And thanks for watching another broadcast, courtesy of PCSRE TV, the best in a racing around the world since 2017. Goodbye from 8 Bull Super Speedway.